let's just talk a little bit more about the sort of fascination, not only in this country, with all things royal, and in particular William and Kate, uh, but uh, also all things English, because uh, with me here is Jonathan Thomas from uh, the website Anglotopia, uh, which is a, a blog as well. Uh, now, I spoke to you on Skype, didn't I, yes. uh, about two or three days ago. Yes. You said you were coming over. Yep. What sort of hits are you getting on your website about this? Uh, we're getting about 10 to 12,000 hits a day right now just for the royal wedding. It's, it's and is crazy. that more than you've had on it's, anything else before? It's way more than usual. Normally we get like three or 4,000 hits a day, so it's, it's been big. And, and why is it, do you think, that people have, have got so caught up in this one? I have no idea, but I think it's just because they love the monarchy, they love the idea of the British royal family, and it's just a, a happy occasion that everybody can be happy about. So, so. so what are you doing tomorrow? I mean, you, you've flown over for this. Does that mean that yes. you're going to be busy vlogging uh, away all, all the way through the day? Where, where are you going to be? I'm going to hopefully be somewhere on the mall. I'm going to do a live vlog all day, and I'm going to be updating with pictures and videos and everything for our, for our audience, and hopefully they'll, they'll enjoy it. And, Hopefully we can get some good pictures. Now, now I know you, you, you love all things English, British. You were saying your family originally, I think, from Durham. But what do you think about the, the, the sense of sort of uh, royal fervor, feeling here tonight? I mean, you've seen all these crowds as well. You've heard the cheering. Uh, does that surprise you, considering what the, the monarchy has been through over the last 15, 20 years? Well, you know, it, it, it does kind of surprise me. And I've never seen anything like it before. We don't have anything like this in America. So it's, it's just, it's really, it kind of warms the heart to see people be so happy about the royal family and about, you know, the wedding and everything. And, and, the, and the fact that William and Kate are still in their late 20s now, what does that say to you in terms of the, the, the future of the royal family, now that they've got this, this star couple who are so young? I think it's going to be great for the royal family. I think that once they start doing tours internationally and everything, that there's going to be a lot of interest in the Commonwealth countries and the U.S. from, from young people all, all around who just want to love this glamorous couple. Yeah, and, uh, and they're going to Canada, aren't they, on their first official yeah, so. visit? Uh, but but the, the States, I mean, oh, I don't know what, what, what struck you about this, but I am still amazed at the number of Americans over here. You know, I've been down at the Abbey for the last two or three days, uh, and so many Americans have come specifically for this. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I, you know, I heard quite a few people on the plane over here who are coming here for the royal wedding, and I've just heard so many American accents walking just down the mall. I've been very surprised because, you know, it costs a lot of money for us to come here. So it's, it's amazing that that many people would come for this. Okay. So well, Jonathan, I, Jonathan Thomas, good luck uh, tomorrow with your, your blog. Uh, we're expecting... Uh